to make this day a reality. May God continue to bless our parish community and our archdiocese through Christ our Lord. Amen. Like the announcer said, after the Mass, we have the reception. But before then, permit me to say something very important. On Sunday, next Sunday, we shall be having our Lenten campaign. Last year, we did not have it as elaborate as we want to do this year. But remember, last year, the JDPC distributed some boxes for us to encourage us to be able to support the Archdiocese and other smaller parishes through that means. This very event should be very dear to us because if you remember we also started like some of the pastoral areas in the archdiocese today we know our history we have worshipped in people's houses we have celebrated masses in father's house we have celebrated mass under the tree we have celebrated mass under the sun we have celebrated mass in bacha Today, we are celebrating Mass in a big edifice like this. Along that history, other churches also helped us. Remember, too, that uh, some of our pews that we just gave out it came all the way from Karimo during the demolition of the churches in Karimo. So, you see, the church is one. And this is why we should not be tired when we are being called upon to assist other little, little, smaller parishes. So on Sunday, in the Archdiocese, we'll be having what we call exchange of pulpit. Many of our priests will go to other parishes. Even me, I will not be here on Sunday. I will be in another parish trying to beg for money so that we can support the smaller groups. And it's part of our Lenten uh, observances. That is why we call it a Lenten campaign. If you go abroad, many of you lived abroad. Some of you still have one leg there, one leg here. You know, the money that they sent us in those days to support us came from things like this. His Eminence had sent me on studies, and Your Eminence, while in Rome, I decided to go find out my sponsors, they miss you. And I said to them that I need to know those who were sponsoring me while I was in Rome. And they facilitated my trip to Germany. And when I got there, I did not see senators. I did not see big men and women. It was the contribution of very elderly men and women, even some reverend fathers. Whatever they get, they put in their small box, like the box we will be giving you on Sunday. It is from those kind of little, little contributions they make that at the end, they are able to channel to Missio, and Missio will use to train me and others. And now, here you are, enjoying the fruit of the people you do not know. And that is how the church works. So, since I will not be here on Sunday, that is why I'm taking the time to put you in the picture, so that when you see another priest coming here on Sunday to talk about this, remember that I have already given you a hint. All I want to say, dear brothers, dear sisters, this season of Lent, let us try to take advantage of it to be charitable, both to our local community and above all to other members of the archdiocese and as we do this may god continue to bless us through christ our lord Amen. thank you so much and god bless you
Holy Cross family. Before the final blessing, can we rise and take our beautiful parish anthem, please? Like everything about you is very nice. Okay. <laughs> Your church is one of the most beautiful now. Uh, and I can say your anthem is also wonderful. <laughs> so thank you for being who you are and for who you are in the Archdiocese of Abuja. It is wonderful. Your contributions are immense. Your unity, your solidarity, and all you do together as a family is wonderful. So I'm so happy that we had this wonderful celebration. Chapter 1 is concluding now. Chapter 2 will start outside. Engineer Mbaka is the High Priest of Chapter 2. <laughs> I have been presiding here. He will preside outside. And I'm sure it, you did a good job selecting him because he's one of those I have known since I was president of the Bishops' Conference of Nigeria who has worked so hard in the Catholic Secretariat, the Veritas University, and even here as Archbishop in Abuja now, I know many places, churches and land, and many things that he and many other people like him have done. So I want to appreciate you and to remind you that there is so much work to do. Uh, Father Roland told me that you donated your old benches, your pews, to the pastoral area. I said that is a wonderful gesture. Can you clap for your hands, please? <laughs> There is more to do. We have 51 pastoral areas. I told you they started with basically nothing. So 
So we need you, who are solidly established now, to reach out to them. And I am confident that will do. Yeah, I mean, that will be possible. And so once again, thank you, Eminence, for your presence, your inspiring presence. Thank you, my dear priests, the religious, and all of you dignitaries that are here. Everybody is a dignitary here, because before Jesus, we are all dignitaries. God bless you, and as you return home, first of all, as you enjoy chapter 2 of this celebration, may God be with you, and as you return home, may God take you safely, and may you continue to enjoy his peace and love. The Lord, okay, thank you, MC. Well, wonderful, this is a liturgy, you know. This is the only time and an opportunity he has to command the bishop. Because if he tells me to go left, I go left, go right, go forward, sit down, stand up, I do what he says. But after that... <laughs> but outside the church, that is where his power ends. <laughs> yes, thank you, Father. Please, thank you so much. And also, it's my pleasure to announce that henceforth, the 20s, well, well, the 27th, is it? The solemnity, yeah? The 27th. Today is the 27th. On this day that we have dedicated this church for you in the parish here in Holy Cross, Warimpa, is, is a solemnity for you. It's a solemnity. So, which means that every year you will have to celebrate like this lively celebration, wonderful singing, wonderful present, all this will have to be done every year to remind you and tell God that you are grateful. And so this is to declare officially that this day is a solemnity and it will continue to be so through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and receive a blessing. May God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who has gathered you today for the dedication of this church, make you abound in heavenly blessings. May God, who has willed that all his scattered children be gathered in his Son, grant that you become his temple and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. May you be made thoroughly clean so that God may dwell within you and you may possess with all the saints, the inheritance of your eternal happiness. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.